Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again, Aries. So a love and relationship reading. It's been a while since I have done one of these and I'm happy to be back doing some more. Um, now for October 2021, I still haven't figured out the uh, frequency of the readings, but let's just say this will be our first one. And I'm going to pull three cards for your side, three cards for your suspect prospect potential significant other side here and then we're going to look at your current energy your general sorry your relationship appetite energy how ready you are general energy how you may be presented or how you may present how you may be perceived by the other party we're going to do the same for them and then i'm going to say your reaction to them their reaction to you best path forward and a guiding note Okay, and then we may even do another layer just about elements of the relationship. So hopefully we'll enjoy it, guys. Um, sorry for the long intro. I usually like to get into it right away. But let's just say we're trying to spark some ideas about love and relationships. Okay, what if, what if those were the energies? And I see Aries beginning here with a two of cups. Okay, there is a, if you agree, there is a bit of a yearning for having this union, having a partner around, if you will. Uh, the thought is one that invites, okay, um, thinking of the other side and in more than one way. So it is obviously the manifestation of the moment of togetherness, of being with someone that we love, of being with someone um, where we can actually say cheers and uh, just enjoy the company of one another. So there is that. There's also uh, a little bit in terms of general energy here, a little bit of forward momentum. So on your side, I see a seven, a seven of coins in general. OK, this is a forward moving number in general, general areas of life. We are looking at someone who is advancing. So hopefully this resonates with you, Aries. Hopefully you are um, set and settled around different areas of life to the point that you are advancing and advancing also materially. When I say that now, I think of what does that imply for a relationship? OK, advance materially. Now, on their side, we're going to get to this in a second, but on their side, the relationship appetite, shall we say, aura is also quite encouraging. It's very, very wholesome. If this is the persona that thinks, okay, in terms of the world, that's how they see a relationship. Well, there's a little bit of that romance, obviously, here. You know, that song, once you found her, build the world around her. So I don't know why this is hitting me right now, but it's called make someone happy, I think. And so I get this good energy here. And then I also look at their general energy. Should this resonate? And we have a six of swords. Okay. So we are sharp, okay? Um, one thing I would say is the priorities, guys. If you go to, you know what, the number six for me, it's overcoming of obstacles, but also knowing your uh, priorities. What are next steps for the next phase of my life? Now we're talking about love and relationships. So there is a, shall we say, methodical approach that I could see there to this. Now, I talked here about you also doing good, knock on wood, in other areas of life to the point that the relationship also becomes a material question. Where do we live? Uh, do we move in? Things of that nature. Now, obviously, Aries, this will resonate differently, guys, depending on your age group, right? So the where do we live if we live together question that may be more valid for someone who is, you know what, um, you know what, outside, ahead. Uh, a different age group, I could say, but material things. So your consideration is also the investment you make of your time into this relationship. Does that provide the fun? Does that provide the long-term kind of vision of happiness that Aries has? Interesting, interesting. Um, now, the way they may see you, okay, the way you may present here is a magician. So... And the way they may present to you is a, in a way, a passionate page of cups. So the magician, very aware, very capable, and also um, capable of changing things. 
okay? Changing things around, obviously, we're looking at changing them to the positive. So there is that, shall we say, um, look to you by them, if this resonates, that says, this is someone I can build with, okay? I'm going to go back to their, shall we say, relationship appetite and say, this is someone I can build a world with, okay? So I look at this, and then I also look at their, uh, the way that you perceive them. Page of Cups, romantic, okay, in a way, as one of those two, okay, so there may be that potentially, maybe looking at that prospect, at those energies and saying, this is in a way aligned with me. Um, I have the energy of duality here. There's an interest in loving you, in understanding you. There is that passion and compassion, if you will, with that energy, the way that's presenting, okay, if it resonates. And then there is a little bit of logic here in terms of understanding of general areas of life. What do we have for goals? What do we have in terms of, uh, you know, what the concept of commitments and things like that? So having the priority set does not mean that they are ready, they are proposing to you tomorrow. But at least it means you're going to have a, um, a sound discussion. There's going to be the understanding. You're communicating on almost a an honest and a similar wavelength, in my view. Now, let's see about your reaction to them, okay? How would you react with these to these energies? And that's interesting, and then we have the strength here. So I was saying here, they may rely on you, okay? They may see that, um, shall we say, ability, that capability. I'm not gonna say skill set, but those traits, those personality traits, interesting, and then, their reaction to you is inspiration, inspired. So here comes the star moment. It's as if someone has found what they've been looking for, okay? They may have found what they have been looking for in you, Aries. Alrighty, let's talk about a, um, a guiding note, okay? So a guiding note here, or actually I should say the guiding note is here. This is a best path forward, pardon me best path forward and we have the hangman so okay there is a lot of romance you may represent the world to them but the encouragement here for you is to look at it also from more than one viewpoint okay is it their viewpoint that you are trying to understand Aries that could be seen as that but that really just says um, look at it and understand other angles of the relationship okay so that's a best path forward. It's just asking us to see it from more than viewpoint. And if there was one guiding note here, I would say it may not be clear, okay? This path may not be clear, but I see a star. I see inspiration. I see sources of light as well. So looking at things with a different viewpoint, looking at things in a way, in a way to the extent that we can, long term, separating the passion and romance element here that appears to be strong on their side gives you clarity gives you the assurance to go forward with them or not now i don't know how much time we've spent so far but i just want to pull four more cards and let's just say that those cards are going to be super super light and guiding notes on what i would call four elements four corners of a relationship so i'm gonna say attraction trust shared goals and commitment let's see what we get as a note on attraction balance hey temperance balance there's definitely the chemistry let's get that word out okay attraction appears here are the two cups here's the passion with the page of cups attraction appears to be doing well there is this back and forth you may be able to be attracted also to each other on a mental level which is beautiful by the way because that's allowing you to solve and predict and you know what deal with what could become obstacles down the road okay trust and here we have two of coins so trust is a two-way street establish it early on okay establish trust early on it benefits you in the long term you don't have to have a memory to recall things when you guys trust each other early on openness okay um shared goals all righty well choices you make could either take you towards further development of the relationship advancing it 
if they are exciting choices. So you have to find what excites both of those energies together in order to make the shared goal something that you're actually achieving. Okay, so is, is it buying a house? Is it adding, you know what, um, a new investment portfolio, portfolio for you guys? Is it uh, just going on a trip? Is it raising children? Choices that excite you and this is one of the key, key, most important elements of any relationship, because with shared goals, you're able to generate trust. With shared goals, you're able to remind yourself and remember why we love each other, why we are attracted to each other. And also, it is an element of commitment. So last but not least, on commitment, we have changing feelings. So um, a feeling that changes does not necessarily mean that someone is not committed, but that's why, okay, we need to study things for the long term, okay, from different viewpoints. I liked it, guys. I hope you guys liked it. Um, love to hear from you guys if you would suggest other uh, positions to the spread. Uh, still just tweaking it until we get it down. But for now, of course, I thank you guys for watching. And as always, I want you to know, I do and we do love you madly. And bye for now, guys.